He treated me as good as anything could hope for. Honest to God. Stitched me himself from the leather of the old girl who'd given his little ones milk for their porridge for near ten years. He'd asked the tanner for her offcuts, to make something to remember her by, and he loved me for it. You see, this was a man who spoke with his hands, hard-working and warm. Each morning he'd take me from my hook by the door, still sleepy and pulling on his breeches, and at the stream, at the edge of the steading, he'd splash his face to wake himself, say his thanks to Jesus, for his duties and for the river flowing, and he'd fill me with biting cold water. Proof of the purity of the Lord, he said. We'd set off just after dawn, in any weather, to check the sheep, the goat pens, the little oak patch, and the cabbages lined up like nests in the ground. The dent in my back, see, that's from swinging on the cords across his shoulder, bumping into his hip, as we walked the meadows, the winding tracks, and the Sedgemoor marshes. I'd say we were the shape of each other. I was his partner on every visit to a friend, and each trip into the village, the times where he'd fill me with a little whiskey and take me discreetly home to treat Beth. I was his company on top of each hill where he sometimes sat to look out over the land. Those peaceful times ended when the word came. Thousands of the Duke's men sailing for England and the question of the King to be settled right here at Sedgemoor. He was a quiet man, but he told Beth he had to fight for the country their children would inherit. And so I was with him when the King's army came. The brave rebels never stood a chance, you see. Such gentle folk like him, they'd never lifted a blade before. It took barely a minute for a sword to reach his breast, with no armour over it. He fell, and was caught by the soft Somerset ground. The earth he loved and lived by. I lay beside him, in his hand growing cold. Until the scavengers of this world, the shameless men who've forgotten God and all their brothers, came to steal from the fallen. My cords were cut by a rusting knife between bloody fingers. And that's when I left the world of his kindness for good. <laughs>